In this video, I'm going to show you foods that can help prevent and repair a leaky, inflamed gut. Oh, my stomach was burning. Now, all foods that repair your gut should hit these three basic principles. Number one, keep you well hydrated. Number two, reduce stress hormones like cortisol and insulin. And number three, feed your gut microbiome. So number one, kiwi fruit. This is one of those great constipation relievers and delicious to eat. It has more vitamin C than an orange and has shown to reduce colds in kids too. So this fruit works above and below the diaphragm. Number two, ginger. Actually, I really like ginger water. Ginger contains gingerol that promotes movement in your gut to help move your food along your digestive tract. It's great for nausea. It's my choice for motion sickness for pregnancy, as well as for patients on chemotherapy that who get nauseous. It helps cut down on constipation, bloating, and gas. It is a great migraine therapy, reduces cholesterol, blood sugars, and inflammation. My ancestors have used ginger for thousands of years. Number three, fresh cruciferous vegetables. You know, eat your green vegetables. Now there are lots of variety to choose from. And really the key is to eat a variety of them. They contain anti-inflammatory nutrients, vitamins and minerals like potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And they are a must eat on a daily basis. They have been shown to reduce blood pressure, blood sugar, increase testing scores, in addition to improving gut health. Now, don't ferment them. They do lose their anti-inflammatory power when you soak them in vinegar. Now my favorite ones are either dinosaur kale or purple cabbage. And I'll give you a tip. If you chop them up, leave them around for maybe 15, 30 minutes, or if you sprinkle a little bit of mustard powder, you'll get more antioxidant power out of those vegetables. Number four, eat other leafy green vegetables. In addition to cruciferous vegetables, fresh herbs, spinach, beets, Swiss chard, and thousands of other Green leaves with unique phytonutrients are great for your gut health. Eating greens reduces inflammation and improves so many other different diseases inside and out of your gut. Number five, beans, especially garbanzo beans. I love hummus as a dip, a salad dressing, or just eaten on a spoon by itself. I try to eat a variety of beans so this way I don't get bored. Beans and lentils have been shown to improve your metabolism even after the meal and the effect lasts the next day. So after you eat beans, your gut microbiome, they're actually still enjoying them. And sometimes until the next day, when they eat, they actually make anti-inflammatory short chain fatty acids that improves your metabolism, your blood sugar control, as well as your inflammation. So work to eating three servings of bean a day. Number six, is oatmeal. It is true, oatmeal is excellent for your gut health, your vascular health, and really for your overall health. Oatmeal is a popular grain that comes in a variety of processed forms. Oat flour is not whole grain and it lacks fiber, so I would avoid that. Scottish oats is better, but eating whole oats is best. So instant oats, quick oats, and rolled oats are a little bit more processed than steel cut oats, which is better, but really, whole oat groats are best. Number seven, walnuts. Walnuts have great omega-3 fats as well as fiber that are excellent for your nervous system and inflammation. The, the fiber and phytonutrients are perfect for your health, for your gut microbiome, um, for the nerves. That's actually the largest bundle of nerves outside of your brain lies in your gut. Number eight, flax seeds. You know, if you want to balance your hormones, if you want to reduce inflammation and get a great omega-3 source, grind up some flax seeds. It can maximize its nutrition. Number nine, blueberries and just berries in general are excellent for your metabolism with inflammation and fiber. It's packed with um, anthocyanins as well. Now, if you have esophageal inflammation, strawberries have been shown to reduce esophageal inflammation, even freeze-dried strawberries. I really just try to eat some berry every day. Um, just by the way, jams do not count. You actually lose a lot of antioxidant power when you heat that up and make jam and then you add all that sugar. Don't overdo the berries when you're pregnant. Those are my top 10 choices. I'll see you next time on my next video.